welcome. I'm Emeril Lagasse. Welcome to the Essence of Emeril. You know, today we're going to talk about duck. That's right. All kinds of ducks and duck dishes. You know that duck meat appears on more menus than ever before. It's been popular on American tables since the Europeans first settled here and discovered the native canvasback or mallard ducks. In the 19th century, the first Pekin ducks, that's a breed of duck, were brought to this country on a Yankee clipper ship and a domestic industry, remember that, domestic industry began. The birds became known as Long Island ducklings. Truthfully, Long Island now raises half the ducks sold in this country. But Pekin duck is a breed of duck, also referred to the Chinese dish of duck and duck skin rolled in thin pancakes. But in Louisiana, the sportsman paradise, I have lots of friends that have duck camps and uh, the weekend trips. Well, I never get to go on the hunt because I'm usually the one that cooks. Drink the wine, cook. But anyhow, we have a great time. Louisiana, and they're much different than domestic ducks, domesticated. I'm going to show you some of those. This is a domestic Peking breed of duck that you can find in a lot of open air markets and a lot of the oriental markets in Chinatown. They usually even come with their head on and feet on, which are used for other parts of dishes and uh, ethnic dishes as well. And this guy here is a Muscovy duck. This is another breed of duck. And the Muscovy is considered to be the leanest and less fattiest of the duck. And people confuse ducks as being very fatty. Actually, the fat can be rendered and also used for a lot of wonderful cooking uh, techniques and sauteing vegetables and using a lot of different uh, classical dishes as well. Duck fat, it's very delicious to cook with. I love cooking with duck fat. And speaking about fat of duck, this is a fatty duck. You see that? That is a fatty duck. That's because it's a moulade duck. And this is the duck that usually they fatten so that they can raise the foie gras or the liver out of the duck. You can see it's heavy, heavy, heavy fatted. And this is a typical, what's classified as a Long Island duckling, uh, which I said earlier raises about half the poundage of ducks in this country. And uh, people don't use a lot of duck at home. And uh, it's very simple. You, and you, you don't only have to just roast it. There's a lot of creative ways that you could do with duck. Uh, you can use the breast for roulades and for, you can grind it for even duck burgers and uh, duck loafs. And you can do lots of things, a lot of creative things and just roasting it. The important thing to know is how to bone a duck. And I'm going to show you when you actually buy a typical duck in the supermarket. Predominantly, you can get them fresh, but uh, most of the time they're available frozen. And you should thaw them out uh, or try to get them fresh if you can. And when you get them home, depending on what you're going to use for, it's just like a chicken. And you have to rinse it out and remove the liver as well as the gizzards, just like a, a, a chicken or you would uh, a turkey. And then you also have the, the neck bone. And those are really delicious using for stocks and stews and soups. And then also the other part here is the inside is a little bit of excess fat and you want to trim that out as well, depending on what you're using it for. And then you can see the back part of it here, which always has a fatty lip on it, what we call a fatty lip. You want to just sort of cut some of that fat off. And like I said, you can render the duck fat, uh, all the fat that you uh, take and remove, render it down, and you can, you can save that and keep it in the ice box. And when you're ready to use it, use a little bit of duck fat. Now, to bone this duck for what we're going to use, we have the obvious wing part of it. And the reason why I'm boning the duck right now is because we're going to do, when we come back, something different with cut up duck because most of the time people think that duck just has to be roasted and cooked whole. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing it. I got the wings and then actually if you just cut along the part of the duck right here, you'll have the duck legs. And these duck legs are wonderful for a confit of duck, uh, which we do at the restaurant at Emeralds uh, a lot of times. I love confit of duck, um, which 
really is cooked for a long period of time in its own fat and just for a long period of time in the oven low low temperature until the meat just falls off the bones and then you have a center bone just like a chicken and if you take your knife and just run it right down the center bone you see that right there just like you're gonna bone a chicken and then it comes to a V there's a V shape here so you want to just sort of follow that V shape down you can see how I'm doing that just like that and then you have the duck breast this is the breast right now so we have the duck breast that we can do something with you could just grill it you could sear it you could smother it talking about smothering when I come back I'm gonna creolize a duck dish so don't go away we'll be right back and stay with me Welcome back. I'm Emeril Lagasse, and uh, I'm glad you stayed with us for a little more essence. And uh, speaking about essence, you know, this next dish, well, it's actually you would think that most duck dishes are roasted, as I said earlier. Ha! Huh. Fooled you again because this is a dish that we love to do down in the camp, and it's called smothered duck. You can do it with chicken, you can do it with turkey. But uh, let me show you what we're going to do. I've got a roasting pan. And I've really got the roasting pan hot on the stove. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add just some oil to that pan. And that thing is smoking. And I mean smoking. Then we've got to take our duck. And we've got to give it a little seasoning. The first thing that I want to do, though, is I want to I start the legs of the duck. Because they're going to take the most time. Okay? They're going to take the most time. Don't be alarmed. It's only down in the camp. We want to start the duck legs because the duck legs are going to take a little longer. That's right. They're going to take a little longer. And then what we're going to do is, while they're cooking, we're going to come back and season the duck breasts and that skin and the meat, both sides, so that both sides taste good together. With some of that wonderful Creole spice. And get the wings as well as they get a lot of flavor. And then what we're going to do is then... We start turning over on the fat side down those legs. Oh boy, this is a real smother dish. Now, what you see in there, we don't have a lot of oil. We're trying to get and render out a lot of the fat from the duck itself. And then once we get the legs working, that's when we're going to start adding the, the breast of the duck. start adding the breast of the duck as well as the wings itself which have a lot a lot a lot of great flavor now we cook these for about four or five minutes turning them around you'll see as you can see right here we've got a little bit of that natural that oil or that fat from rendering out the duck and that's okay because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that later on now we're going to add some onion, and we're going to add some carrot, some turnip, and we're going to also add some potato. And then what I like to add also is I want to add some whole garlic cloves. I just let them get really, when they cook and get smothered. Now the rest of my spice, I'm just going to add a little more of that spice in there. If you're just joining us, we're doing a little smothered duck, just like at the camp. That's right, down in Louisiana. Smothered duck. Woo! Boy, it smells good already. Okay, so we're going to cook these vegetables. we we'll start searing out those pieces. Now, we're going to add some bay leaves. Well, about four or five bay leaves as well as some thyme. That's right, some thyme. And the thing is, is that when you're using fresh thyme, 
in order to really get get the surge of the herb, you need to just take it off the the stem and just tear it back like that. And then you may want to use some of the stems in there as well. And I'm going to add some of that thyme. Ooh, ooh. smelling good. Now, before I add my liquid, my stock, either a duck stock or a brown chicken stock or even a light one will, will work. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to give a little salt so all those vegetables have a little flavor. And I'm going to add some cracked pepper, get it good and spiced up. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our stock and we're going to pour this, this stock right over. Now, when we first started the dish, you see how it's, we just got it submerged in liquid. When we started the dish, we had a lot of the, the duck that we were searing, a lot of the spice that was on that. We got a lot of flavor in the bottom of that pan. And that's what we're, what we're kind of just, you see how it's also giving it a little color? The stock is giving it a little bit of that nice smothered, that dirty color is what we call it. I love that. Now, you can cover it if you've got a, a cover. You can cover it with foil. What we're going to do is we're going to put this now, once it comes to a boil, we're going to actually put this in the oven. I've got the oven on about 400 degrees. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this inside the oven for about an hour and a half. And as you can see what I have right here, you see that? An hour and a half. Then what you've got is you've got this, you see that? You've got this smothered, smothered duck with all those vegetables. Now, one duck you can serve two people. And uh, Usually in uh, Louisiana, we would serve some rice dressing, or you might know it as dirty rice with this. But before we do that, you know, we've talked about how, how it could be, duck can be fatty. Well, it tastes good. But let me show you what you can do with that. Actually, when you take it out of the oven after it smothers, put it on the stove, and there's a French term called deep way for this, and what that means is that we want to skim from our liquid, and you can kind of work it back like this. See how I'm doing that? We want to just skim as much of that oil or that fat on top. You just keep skimming it away. You see, the technique of deep way, as I was saying, is when you have the cooking surface on the stove where a part of it is not on the, on the surface, the heat of surface, so that it can roll back. And that's what it's doing right here. And what we're doing is we're just sort of removing the oil from that. Now, here's a couple of things that I love to do. When you remove the oil, what we're going to do as a one-person portion, we'll take some of that delicious duck, the breast of it, and we'll take one of the legs and we'll serve that right here, okay? And what I like to do is I like to move all the vegetables. I like to move all the vegetables down and you can decide how you want to do it. There's two ways that you can finish this dish. One of them is that you can take a little bit of flour with some water. And the old technique of that is called a slur, okay? And you can just, you see that? It almost like makes a paste, right? And then what you can do is that you can use that slur inside there, and that will actually start to thicken it, as you can see it's doing right there. Now, the other way, if you don't really particularly like the slur, which doesn't bother me, the other tip that I have for you is basically that great immersion blender. And you can take an immersion blender, and you can sort of just 
break down some of those vegetables and let some of those vegetables be the thickening agent for our wonderful smothered duck. And then you can take that and put some of that delicious chock full of vegetables and sauce right over that. You can see I have some dirty rice. I've got a little green onion garnish, which I just can't do without. And even these beautiful little julienne of carrots and uh, little bundles, little packages. Doesn't that look beautiful? And you can just lightly steam them. Hey, what a duck dish. Smothered duck. When we come back, I got another great duck recipe for you. So stay with me. Don't go away. I'm Emeril Lagasse, and uh, I've got a great recipe right now. One of my favorite recipes for a whole duck is citrus duck. Citrus duck, that's right. I've got a little Muscovy duck I've cleaned out. I've got uh, juice of about four oranges that I want to mix and get the pulp and all that good stuff. I also got the uh, juice of about two lemons. That's right, two lemons. And then before I juiced the lemons, and the oranges, I took with a, a grater all the peel off, not the pith, not the white, the peel. And I've got a lot of that orange peel as well as that lemon peel. Woo! And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix that in. And what you can do really the night before is you can just take that and put that citrus all over the duck. And uh, you can make sure that you just sort of get all that citrus juice and the acid from the citrus inside, outside, let it sit and keep sort of basting that. And then you're not going to waste any of that because when you're ready to roast this duck, which I'm going to show you, basically I'm going to do a lot of cracked pepper. That's another key, at least for my citrus duck. And you got to have a little bit of that, that Creole spice and a little bit of salt. And then what we'll do is we get a roasting pan. Look at this thing. No, it's, it's not a trumpet. It's, it's a vertical roaster, a vertical roaster. And what we can do now is after this bird has been marinated, a great duck, we take it. And what you do is you set the duck. You could do this with chicken as well, right on the vertical roaster. And that way, all of the fat and all of that juice comes down from the vertical roaster right into our pan. And the other thing that you can do is occasionally as it's roasting, you can just sort of baste it right from the top. You see what I'm doing there? You just sort of keep basting it as it's roasting like that. And boy, you want to talk about something good. I think, and what I like to do is in the, uh, in the oven, uh, you put this in the oven for about, I like to high, high heat until it starts getting golden, golden brown. That usually takes about 15, 20 minutes. Just wop up the heat as high as it can go and turn it down and you want to finish cooking it for about maybe about an hour. And then what you have is you got this great duck. You see that? You got this great duck that's uh, been roasted on the vertical. And the reason why, the reason why that um, it's so charred like that is because the citrus, the acid of the citrus, it really, really just makes it tremendous. You see that? And you got all the citrus peel. And you should just, you can't, I can't wait to. And what you can do, you gotta drain it really good. You can either carve it right on the vertical roaster or take the vertical, the bird right off the roaster itself. And then what you're going to want to do then is you're going to want to serve some pieces of duck or half a duck itself from the carcass. I like to take the carcass and the meat right off of the duck as I'm doing right here. And basically you serve a half a duck like this with your favorite, favorite 
vegetables, accoutrements. You take the half duck, as I have right here, and it's got all of this wonderful citrus flavor. And then one of my favorite things are these roasted potatoes, just these new potatoes that you roast and uh, cook with rosemary and garlic and salt. And then I like to just add a little bit more spice. And then this great rosemary here, this great rosemary, you dip it in some of the oil like this and watch this. What we can do is you just sort of get the great flavors like this of the rosemary and it smells delicious. You see that? And look at that. You got a delicious, delicious duck.